Hi everyone, my name is Arthi De Rosario, naturopath at Guts of the Matter. I really wanted to discuss doing a risk-benefit analysis on crutch-like behavior. What is the one thing that you use to get you through the hard times? Obviously this year has been amazingly challenging for everybody and we all have our special go-to thing that we do. Some people smoke, some people drink, some people eat too much processed food, some people are addicted to sugar. We all have that one thing that just gives us a break and pulls us back from the intensity of the experiences that we have in our lives. And um, there is a question around, we know we shouldn't be doing it. So we feel really guilty about what we do. However, what else can we do? Yes, we can do breathing, mindfulness, meditation, exercise, etc, etc, etc. But sometimes you just need a quick fix. And a bar of chocolate is the quickest, easiest way to get happy again. <laughs> Even if it's only for a few minutes. Long term, it's not a great solution. And we know that, which is why we have this whole guilt load that we carry. Um, but I want to ask you to do a risk-benefit analysis. Long term... This kind of behavior, this kind of crutch, tends to be a liability and causes you more distress. However, the benefit is in the moment, it is bringing you a sense of emotional peace and calm and stability, which is uh, priceless, to be honest, sometimes. So I did an experiment where I removed my crutch completely. Cold turkey. It was intense, to say the least. It was extremely confronting because not having something to support me when I was overwhelmed by my emotions and my experiences in my life uh, led to this intense reality and facing of everything straight up that we're just not used to, I don't think. Um, and it was hard. It was really, really hard. It did change a lot of my behavior patterns. Um, I still try to cling on to them, but they don't feel good anymore. However, I personally, I advise my clients to hold on to their crutches until they have all the other self-care elements in place. Enjoy the food that you eat those guilty pleasures, enjoy that wine that you're drinking, um, revel mindfully in the chocolate that you're eating, even cigarettes, enjoy every single puff because there's no sense in feeling any guilt that just increases your stress hormones and makes you feel horrible when you're trying to achieve a sense of pleasure and you know that it's not good for you long term and being mindful of that fact starting to slowly incorporate in baby steps behaviors that shift you away from that harmful crutch or guilty pleasure will slowly help you realign or readjust your behavior and readjust your responses to your life um going cold turkey is a way is one way um, baby steps is a, another way and everybody's different. Everybody has a different way of uh, approaching change in their life. Um, but yeah, conduct a risk benefit analysis and see like, is the thing that I'm using to create joy actually bringing me joy? And if it is, um, am I happy to keep it, but still start looking for other behaviors that might lead me there? Um, I had to severely question my hatred of these crutches um, because I, being diabetic, I demonize sugar. It's, it's evil. It's the devil in my book. However, my son is addicted. He is obsessed. He is in constant need. And it took me a really long time to understand that clearly the level of 
stress or unhappiness or whatever he was feeling led him to try and self-soothe and this was his crutch this is what he he looks for and I had to then reframe and ask myself while I'm finding ways to teach him to self-soothe uh, in a more productive or, or self-healing way um, is there any point in removing this crutch uh, that he seems to need so badly? It's a very tough one. I'm extremely um, upset, obviously, being a naturopath and a diabetic, that my own son, who's been brought up on vegetables and everybody says, oh, he eats so well, um, or the kids eat so well, craves and will look for sugar. And of course, I'm a junk food addict, which is something I don't talk about often, so I might bring that up. The next time um, happy to hear from all of you about your experiences what is your crutch that you use do you find it um, something that supports you or do you find it something that brings you so much guilt it's kind of almost pointless having that crutch um, yeah let me know